Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to do the or uh, insert the belt chain uh, assembly feature. It is a feature that's driven by the assembly, uh, depending on the parts that are put in there. And what it does is it gives a reasonable representation of a um, of a sketch that would resemble a belt or a chain that would go into your uh, assembly. So let's do this. So let's talk about our parts first. Uh, we have a back plate part, and we have our two pulleys in the front. Pulleys are actually the, the same part with different configurations, but part of the pulley is a cutout in here so we can actually see the pulley uh, move when when we put in those uh, mates, when the mates are derived from the assembly feature we're going to be putting in there. I also have uh, kind of lit up here, you can see that uh, the gray uh, circle as part of the base feature in that pulley, which is down here. I have that showing, so we can actually select that for one of the parameters for our belt. Okay, so let's put our belt in. If you go up to insert, Assembly feature, scroll down to belt chain. What we're going to do is we're going to click on that gray circle here. This gray circle down here, you can see it turning yellow because of the preview, and then the belt is derived from that, and that also is yellow in the preview. And there you have it. If all you want to do is do the green check mark, you're welcome to go from there. A couple different options though. If you have uh, want to change your belt diameter in some of these things, you can do that. In case you have a, a, a you know, you know, perhaps a, a known uh, inset uh, for the belt down here on that pulley, you can do that. If you want to reestablish that, just go back to your uh, original parameters and it will reestablish that. You'll see that you have these pull arrows in here. These pull arrows will allow the belt for, uh, to approach from a different direction if you want to do that. If you have uh, three or more pulleys, you might want to adjust your pull, your directions on that when you're uh, putting your uh, belt parameters together. Uh, location plan. If you want to put the, the plane uh, where that belt's going to be in a different plane, right now it just assumes a plane or creates a plane in the background uh, where those uh, pulleys are, where the center of the pulleys are, is defined by that sketch element. Uh, you can pick something different. You can deselect it by going back and selecting on that too if you want to do that, if you want to reverse that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of keep with what we have. Uh, properties, we can make the belt driven or drive in. Right now it is driven, so it is defined by the parameters, by the geometry we already have into our, into our model. So we're not going to do that, but if you want to make it drive and make it a very specific length, like you have a very specific length on that belt, and keep some of the other parameters uh, kind of loose, then you can uh, maybe define like the center, center distance between the pulleys as a, as a driven force, and then uh, you know, uh, make your model or fabricate your model in such a manner. Use belt thickness if you want to actually add some additional uh, thickness to the belt. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, start from that uh, from that sketch that we drew that we have uh, drawn out for our base feature there, and it's going to add to that. So if we make that just to exaggerate that, we're going to make it so it's you know, like two inches off of that if we want to do that. And when we finally get a sketch that's associated with that in order to put a sweep on that, then um, you, know, you might want to take that in consideration. But I'm going to keep that at zero. I'm going to keep it right at that. Because I know uh, when I make my belt, it's going to go, it's going to be like a, you know, right in the middle of where the belt's going to be. So it's exactly where I want it to be. Engage the belt. It's already engaged. So when we uh, turn the wheels, the belt, uh, or when we turn the belt or the wheels, uh, both of them are going to be engaged together. And create a belt part. Yes, we want to do that. So what that does is it puts a part into our assembly that we can open up outside of the assembly, make modifications to it, which we will do, and then, um, and then go from there. So let's go to go to the green check mark, and there's our belt. You can see it go between the two. It also adds uh, some uh, mates. So when we move one wheel, one pulley, it moves the other one too, which is kind of cool. So it really is very uh, kind of automated to design here. Okay, let's look at our feature manager design tree. If you want to uh, continue to make uh, modifications to your belt, you could do that. It's available down here in the bottom of your feature manager tree under your assembly. And this opens up. We have a sketch that defines uh, where our uh, belt's going to be on an implied plane derived from the parts. And here's our part that we want to use. So we're going to take that part. We're going to open that. And go to fit. And there's uh, the path that defines our belt. So it is a part, but there is no real solid associated with the part. So we're going to consider this as a sweep. Uh, path, and we're going to put a profile on that. So we're going to do uh, what, we, what we usually do in regard to putting in uh, reference geometry. 
um, like this for uh, a, p a sweep profile so we're going to put a plane we're going to put a plane that's going to be perpendicular to this line at that point so let's do that let's go to insert um, features reference geometry or you can go to up to insert reference geometry up here too if you want to do that go to plane so it's going to assume with those two selections over there uh, what we're looking for which is going to be that perpendicular plane and I know my uh, my pulley uh, uh, and it's a very simple model but I know my, um, you know, my pulley profile, or the profile of my pulley is a uh, one inch circle, of which only half is showing. So we are going to draw a circle on that plane. Put a uh, diameter dimension on it of one inch. We'll click on that. And not that arc probably, but that line, we're going to make a Pierce relationship there. Then we're going to rebuild. So now we have our path, we have a profile for a sweep. Let's go to sweep boss, uh, sweep boss base. That is our profile. That is our path. Green check mark. We're not going to assign any materials. Not in this uh, example, but this is just for demonstration. And let's just make that a vivid red, so it stands out a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that. We could save this outside of the assembly too, if we wanted to do so. So there's a reasonable representation of a belt. Again, the wheels turn showing the relationship between the wheels and the mates are associated with that too and um, that's about it if you have any questions please email me and uh, I think that's it for this video we will see you in other videos